throughout lockdown, I'm gonna go on a mission to try and get hench. I'm doing this because I'm stuck inside with not much to do and I've been neglecting my gains and diet. I've also um, roped in the help of Britain's fittest man, who is a guy called Zach George. His Instagram account is terrifying. Look at this bloke. This is my coach. He looks like he does push-ups for fun. Why, why do you do that? When are you ever gonna need to do a handstand press up? Yeah, he seems like the opposite to me in every way. I don't like the gym. I find it very anxiety inducing. I don't think there's been a week in the last two years where I've not had at least one pint or five pints. You're the fittest man in the UK, is that right? Yep, so yeah, I currently run the CrossFit Open. Um, so I think there's probably around like 15,000 entries in the UK. Um, yeah, so I, I won that overall. It's something that I've really done properly. You can just put for, for gym experience, pretty much zero. But yeah, put zero yeah, down, that's fine. So current diet situation, it, could you tell me what a bad day looks like? I guess if I woke up, it would be like a coffee and probably the leftover digestives. I uh, just on the table on the night before. Yeah. And at lunch, probably a subway, foot long, with a cookie, obviously. <laughs> yeah. And then evening, if it's a bad day, I'm probably at a pub, so I'll probably have like five or six drinks. I usually come home and make some sort of cheesy chip thing. Do you reckon you have one of these bad days a week or two a week or three a week? The beer is probably like two a week and the food bits of that probably once every two weeks. Okay, food wise, you don't really have too much bad stuff regularly. Um, it probably sounds like a lot of the alcohol that would be make a big difference if you cut out. So we're probably mm. going to be on a, a twice a day training regime. Sure, okay. How mm. much do you expect me to be aching? First, probably three days in, you're going to feel like you've been hit by a car, I suspect. I've just weighed in for the first time. My weight was 14 stone and 5 pounds and my body fat was 32%. This will be my gym. Lounge is gym. Here's the latest uh, shopping haul. Protein. Protein. More protein. Genuine to it. It's worrying how long it's been since that's happened actually. This is the snacks that I'm allowed in the evening now. Peas. I have noticed that um, I look a bit more toned in my arms and the, stomach, the bottom of my stomach. Each of those once a day. Now I've got four different types of pills here. That is what they do. Today is my first official rest day and I'm actually feeling really guilty for not doing any exercise. Right, it's a Sunday night, so um, we're having an indulgent meal. It's not a cheap meal, but we're having some steak. And that's the saddest steak you've ever seen on top of a bed of misery. I've got the flash on so you can see the sweat on my knee. This sh I've never had that before. Done 200 squats in 10 minutes, which feels insane to me given that I wouldn't do 200 squats in a week normally and I'm not used to sweating either but I kind of like how it looks and also that is just like straight out of a movie not used to that it's pretty cool my Sunday brunch. Uh, it is protein and fibrous carbs. Yeah, let's do 10 of those. Yeah, another five. Frog, you good? Yeah. Last one. Nice. <laughs> Ow. I've just weighed in for the final time and my weight was 14 stone and three pounds and my body fat was 
but yeah, I've done the weighing thing and like my the body fat is at like 23%, whereas it was 32. So that's, that's really good. quite a difference. Yeah, massive difference. My weight is about the same. I think I've lost like two pounds. If you've lost body fat, but then you've gained muscle, your weight might not change too much. So now that it's gone down a bit, I've noticed a bit of a difference in my body and I feel better for it. And do you, like energy, do you feel better in the day? Yeah, I mean, whereas before I'd get up, I'd sit exactly here and do my work all day and I'd be fine with that. Now I am like, I don't know, I, I do feel like I want to do something a bit more active. I feel a bit more productive as well. I tend to just be able to like manage myself better. Yeah, good. And do you reckon you'll, you'll carry, on, carry on going forward? I don't know if I'll do two sessions a day. And I don't think I'll be sticking to eggs and tuna for most of my meals because um, it's a bit dull. I don't think I'm going to stick to one drink a week like by any stretch. But I might up it from no working out to you know, three workouts a week or four workouts a week. Now I am sort of like, actually, I do feel better and I feel a bit more confident in myself. I kind of realised whilst doing it that I was actually a bit insecure about my body. Yeah. Um, so I feel better about that now and I feel like I'd carry that on. For sure. Yeah, good. It's, um, sure. Yeah, like body confidence is a, is a big thing as well. So if, if you're feeling yeah. good, if you're good, feeling good in yourself and you're feeling more confident, then it's that's like a, a perfect reason for maintaining some sort of general healthy lifestyle. I think you've done really well. You, you've stuck to it. You, you've stayed consistent. Um, you've put the effort in. You've always done the workout. So and it kind of shows in the results that you've got, which is really good. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate you taking the time as well. Hey, I just did my last session um, and it was the same session I did at the start where we do 300 things in however long it takes me. I feel better about myself and um, I'm glad I've done this challenge, it's been hard. It shows that if you do have an inkling in your head where you need to change something up then setting out um, a limited amount of time to push yourself as hard as you can within reason obviously uh, is and can have good results.